Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you everything you need to know about creating and working with a team on Canva. So the advantage of creating a team instead of just sharing your designs is that if you have a bunch of employees that work on a bunch of different designs, you don't have to share each individual design with each individual employee. When someone has access to a team and you create your design within that team, Everybody who is on the team automatically has access to the design. So it's a real time saver. However, teams can be a little bit tricky to navigate. So we are going to show you the way. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into Canva. And then on the left sidebar, you're going to click create a team. And here you're going to add your team name and you can upload a logo if you'd like. We're just gonna click continue. And you can either add people individually or you can get an invite link and you can send out a mass email to all of your team members and once they click that link, they're automatically added to the team. Now, one thing to note down here underneath member, you have two options, you have member and you have administrator. So an administrator has the same rights as you do. And basically they can get rid of members and they can add members. It is good to have more than one administrator on your team just in case something happens. Also, it's important to note that once you are added to a team, you cannot leave the team unless you're an administrator and only administrators can remove team members, which is pretty frustrating because I've been added to a bunch of teams that I wanna get off of and it's not something that I just can email the people and say, hey, get, get rid of me. Anyway, moving on. So member is totally fine and once you do all of that, you're going to click go to team. And it's going to give you a little tour about how the whole shebang works and it may redirect you to this page. Now, this likely happens instantaneously once you've created your team. And if you want to get back to the main section, just click on designs here. And this will show all of the designs that are part of your team. Now, note, if you've already created designs, like we have one here, it's not part of the team. So what you have to do is you have to click on the design wait for it to load and then you're going to click share and then you're going to share it to your team and you're going to change it to can edit. So now we're going to X out of that and we're going to refresh our main Canva dashboard and we're going to go down to Meg's team and there it is. So that is a super helpful trick if you have a bunch of designs that you haven't created within your team. Now going forward, whenever you are to create a design for your team, you're going to want to make sure that you are on the actual team tab. If you're on all your designs tab, that design is not going to go to your team. You can share it to your team afterwards, but it's just best to start from within here. And one thing to note with the team is that whenever one person makes a change on a design, it affects the design on every other person's account. So updates are made in real time. And that's the advantage of having a team. So I also want to note before we finish, um, actually a couple of things. So let's say that you're part of multiple teams to switch between. You just click on your profile picture and then you would see down here different team icons. So because this is my secondary account, this is the only team that I'm part of. But if you did have other teams, that's how you switch between them. And then there's also a way to switch back to your main account. So your own personal designs. Now, the other thing to note is that we did all of this on a free Canva account. So yes, you can have teams on a free Canva account. Now, teams get a little bit sticky when you have a Canva Pro account. So if we click on upgrade here, it doesn't really give you much information. But basically what happens is... Canva Pro is about $120 a year, and if you have team members, you have to pay for them. 
because when you have Canva Pro, you get access to Pro features. And Canva doesn't want people with free accounts to have access to those Pro features. So something to keep in mind, it is definitely best to create teams on the free Canva account if you're doing things simply. But if you want access to stock photos and even more elements, then Canva Pro is the way to go. But just keep that in mind. It's $120 for the team owner and then $60 for each additional member. They also have an enterprise account, which I believe reduces the rate to $30 per team member, but I believe you have to have a certain number of members on your team to qualify for that rate. So that is kind of the ins and outs of how teams work. I just remembered one more thing when you have a Canva Pro account is under all your designs, it's really tricky to add your designs to a team on a Canva Pro account. And I don't know the workaround for that. So remember we, we clicked this and then we, once it loaded, clicked on share, and then we were able to add it to our team. You don't have this option when you have Canva Pro, so something to keep in mind. If you have any more questions on Canva Teams or if you know even more about Canva Teams than I do and would like to share your knowledge, both are welcome. Please comment on the video down below. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next tutorial.